This is a review and unboxing of the Jigga Stream webcam with three colors of lighting modes. So right away, I do YouTube, I do some video recording from the computer, that sort of thing. Um, this has noise reduction microphone, it has facial tracing or tracking, a ring light, and encoding. So this is a fantastic thing for what I do um, to give a better picture if you're doing zooms or any kind of video calls. I'm assuming that would be awesome for that too because we all need better lighting. So this is what it would look like when you're unboxing it. Concealed into a nice case and a nice compact size. Wow, I really like the size. Like, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of bulky, awkward uh, ring lights that are hard to manipulate and use when you're trying to do some videos and some zoom calls. So it has a nice little tripod. Let's check this out. So I'm widening the stance on that tripod. I'm going to connect it right away into the bottom of the unit. Now this is if you want it a standalone unit. So it's going to just stand alone. You don't have to hook it onto your computer. You could also, it looks like, attach your phone right here. But right now I'm recording with my phone. You could prop your phone up there. Um, and it also, this also connects to the computer. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the computer and at the end I'm going to show you what the recording actually looks like. So I'm going to twist this off and attach it to the computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this into the USB port into the back of my computer. I'm going to plug that in, that gives it power. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this and sit it on, take this and I'm going to sit it on the top of the computer. This swivels and the bottom part swivels out as well. So you can adjust. I'm going to sit it on the top of my computer and push it in there and it balances itself. So now it has power and what you can do to turn it on is just hold your thumb there or finger and that changes the power. It changes the color and the brightness, the type, the hue if you hold it in for two seconds. Now once, let's go back to the first one, you just hold it there and it turns it off. If I tap, it increases the brightness. Now if I hold, it goes to the different color and it increases the brightness. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like from the video side of it. It did update and plug in a driver on my computer as soon as I plugged it in. So I'm going to take you to what the actual capture looks like. Okay, so here's the actual camera with no light. And I'm going to tap it and turn it on. And then I'm going to increase it once, twice, and then off again. So that's the first setting. And also the camera is recording the volume and the, the voiceover, the sound. So the audio is going through the camera. This is setting one with warm, increase it, increase it. So you can see it adjusts it a little bit, which makes the shadow on this side of my face less. And then we're going to go to the next setting. There we go. And it's level one, level two, and level three. So it gets rid of the shadowy part and hopefully this looks good to you. It records in a 1920 by 1080 uh, um, video resolution, so that is excellent as well. So thanks for watching my review on the Giga Selfie Light.